Setting options in Lunar Vim is identical to setting options in NeoVim. And if you didn't know this, you can find your config under homeuser.config.lvim. So if we do PWD here, you can see homechris.config.lvim. And then if we list out all the files in this directory, you'll see that we have our config.lua file right there. So let's open it up and get started. You may already have some code in the config.lua file, but in this series, we'll be doing everything from scratch. So you can remove all of it and follow along with this video and all of the future videos in this playlist. So we're gonna get started by typing vim.op. And we're gonna take a look at all the different options here in this completion menu. These are all the different options that you can set in NeoVim and by extension LunarVim. You can read more about them here in this pop-up documentation menu or you can read about them by going into command mode, typing H for help, and then typing in option, option list. And you should see a option list show up here with a short explanation for each of the options that you can set in NeoVim and LunarVim. Since LunarVim will automatically source and reload your config by default after saving, we can view setting options in real time. For instance, we can toggle the line numbers by setting vim.op.number equal to false and then saving the file. You'll notice that the line numbers are gone and then if we go and set it back to true, they'll come back. This will give you the ability to test out different options and decide on which ones you like and don't like. To get more information about setting options in LunarVim, you can head over to lunarvim.org and check out the general settings page in the documentation. So if you go to docs under configuration, general settings, you'll see just some other options that are commonly set with a short explanation next to each one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider sponsoring the channel over on GitHub Sponsors or joining as a channel member over on YouTube. You can also head over to chrisatmachine.com to find links to all of my socials, projects, and other donation methods as well. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.